run a teacher again. There are black house Negroes alive and well in our government, in government service, government offices. They will not stand up and speak if you send them a letter, if you knock on their door, if you call them on the phone. They will not stand up and speak out against the atrocities that's been carried out against black Americans. Why is this? Fear of retribution, maybe? Black politicians, where are you at? In light of all of the black folks who have been killed at the hands of rogue police officers, if you want to call it that. Where are you at? I don't see you on the mainstream news. Black preachers and pastors, where are you at? Don't see you by the numbers speaking out against these ills. Black celebrities, both in sports, entertainment, black politicians, black entertainers in the movies, entertainers in whatever. Where are you at? Where, the, where are the rappers at especially? Where are the singers at especially? Where are the movie stars at especially? Where's Oprah Winfrey? What, what is her take on this? What is Snoop Dogg doing? What about Jay-Z and Beyonce? What about Tyler Perry? What about Eddie Murphy? What about all of the black celebrities? Ball players, basketball, football, baseball. Where you at? Scared of retrib retribution again? Are you afraid of how you will be perceived? Are you afraid of speaking out because it might lose you your status? You might lose your money. You might be ostracized. You might be pushed to the back because you worked so hard to get to that pedestal, that place in life. I'm talking to all of you. This is really not a call to action because if you cared, you would have done something already. This is kind of a day late, don't you think? It's been many people that are people of color or people who are black specifically that have died at the hands of the police departments all over the United States. And there has not been a rally. There has not been a revolt. There has not been a revolution by anyone that's black in entertainment. Why is that? You hear this. Someone answer that question. What about government? What about other police officers? Are you afraid of the blue code that you have that you don't want to tell on your brothers? Even though your brothers are doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. You're afraid of losing your job and your position. Are you afraid of being targeted? I mean, good night. Wasn't our ancestors targeted? Were they not pointed out? Were they not threatened to be killed and even their families? Whatever happened to the mission, my friends? Whatever happened to the cause? I know what it is. You're really not down for the cause. But this is probably the most powerful thing I'll say in this video. Black people in position in entertainment. You know what? You're trying to protect your uh, position, whatever it may be. It's an illusion. Understand that. White supremacists control the world. White supremacists control the United States. Yes, Barack Obama has bosses that we don't see. They control him. But you know what? A lot of you are indeed house Negroes. You're so in love with your title, your position, your economical status, your power, your prowess, your achievements, the accolades that you've received, that you just can't come down to earth and realize at the end of the day, no matter what position you occupy, the white supremacist powers that exist still see you as a nigger.